a normal thing. I am the last parent uh, remaining on the show, and it has been extremely difficult. I have two boys, ages four and two. I haven't seen my kids in six weeks. <laughs> if you're a parent never been away from your kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm happy to report, and so ecstatic, that this weekend my kids will be making a trip out to Los Angeles, and I'm more excited and happy about that than anything I have been in a really, really long time. Since I've been out in Los Angeles, you know, I'm a youth music pastor back home at our church, and our church is actually very active within the community, and so I hooked up with this organization to go out and give out just bags of food to these families who are struggling. Being able to do this really feeds my soul, man. Got the fresh pineapples here. Yeah. The first show, I did a, a ballad, and it was really responded well to, and, and the last show, I'd done this modern song that was kind of rocky and edgy. This week, I'm going to be doing Michael Bolton, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? So if you're familiar with Michael Bolton or this song, you know it's going to take everything I got to pull this off. So hopefully you enjoy it and you swipe right. to Rising Star, as I just called it during that commercial break. Holy crap! <laughs> um, we had a, uh, a sound issue, as you can probably tell. That's live TV. We are sound went down. We are back up. Your Bolton pulled the plug. It was, it was insane. It was uh, all the baby making made it go down. But let's get right to our expert panel. Brad, you were the first to vote for Joshua. What are your thoughts? Oh, I love hearing you sing. First of all, I can barely hear because your little kids are saying hi, Daddy. Yelling, hi, Daddy. <laughs> and I, I think any issues that you had, like your weak start to me, the first few lines, as well as towards the end, you get that pitching. I know what that is. You were looking at them. You were about to cry, weren't you? And right. I want to say, here's the thing. I saw the best quote online. A guy named Mike Delp, at Delp Diesel, wrote, he nailed a Bolton song, which is a feat into itself. And at Josh Groban's mic going out wasn't bad either. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, Thanks, I, 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 yeah. Keep going, Thanks. you're so great. All right, moving right along, Kesha. So, okay, every time you perform, I forget how good you are. <laughs> and this time, it was like definitely the best you've ever done. And I think maybe it was your family, and you just looked like you were going to cry, yeah. and everybody else was going to cry. Yeah. Thank you. But that Thank was. You, that was really awesome performance. Thank you so much. Ludicrous. Appreciate it. I see the Holy Spirit in the church background coming out of you right now, <laughs> which I love, you know? But um, 
I definitely love the fact of, again, how you use your family. I actually have my daughter in the audience. It's her birthday today, so I get the motivation from that and all that good stuff. So, you know, I just, I'm just proud of you, man. Every time you come here, you continue to do better and better, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's next. Yeah. Josh, well, congratulations. We'll see if your score is enough to stay in the top seven throughout the night.